Hi all, David here. I'm back with some more uh, poetry. Now, this first one is a darker one that I think a lot of you might relate to. It's about a time in my life when I was really struggling uh, with the state of the world, my place in it. Uh, and then it's followed by two much more hopeful ones. One about um, a really good time in my life when I was studying in Brussels and the next about the future, uh, sort of how I envision a brighter future for myself, my family, my loved ones, potentially my future children. Um, so here we go. This first one is called Burnt Out Days. Oh, and content warning for suicidal uh, ideation, suicide planning. Um, Burnt out days. Why do I miss the burnt out days when you and I would break the law, come home to the smell of cat piss and shit stained couches, when we would get high in your grandparents' vacant apartment, fire climbing down our lungs, ride around town in cars that barely worked, that never would be ours? We were aimless, angry, sad wallowing. I hated myself and everyone but you. Never gave the world a chance, and we would waste our days as we wished to waste ourselves. Smoke from aluminum cans in the basement of your brother's dirty, unfinished wreck of stucco. A nightmare but for the far-off lights. And I would wish I had the guts to jump off the bridge and crash through the thin ice let the river take me to the sea. But there was beauty sometimes. I would write in my black book, and we would climb the radio tower above town, wash ourselves in the wind chill, white knuckles on steel, and wake to the cold, harsh light of our lives. I wish I could say we didn't have a care in the world, but each careless moment crushed. So why do I miss those frostbit days? This next one is called Ode to Woolaway Park. Winter. I step down from the 44. Chien Vert, the green hound, sniffs the breeze astride Roger Gurin. Weights of travel cascade with unfamiliar flakes, tumbling down over hill, lake, and bridge. The Grand Avenue flows past embassy and bank, river that it was once, when fairies' tales were for the making and wool away flowed from the city to the sea. The 39 hums a little tune, tram and moss in harmony, pining for the gray sky and moss alike to become spring. Green and blue return, vivid but for the moss, flowers rising from mole hills on hills over water. Three boys, almost men, watch the toy dogs and swans chatter and play and dip, sitting above the water. Sipping beer, one points to the steel bird rising from far off Zaventum, bound for Dubai or Madrid. The plane climbs slowly, cautious over Brussels red tile roofs, and the clock tower scrape its belly, twisting. I sip my beer, the bells ring, and spring and I are gone. <sighs> For our last poem, this one I wrote in fall 2020 when I really was needing to envision uh, a happier way of living. It's called The Future. We live together, breathe clean air. The city grows with us. Trees sprout by my bedside. We sing together when spring comes and dance in the flower fields that sprout on every corner. School is growing food, cooking with aunts and uncles, repairing your bicycle, and some maths and reading too. We work because we want to, and our labor gives light and beauty and cleanliness to the city, and food in our bellies and our children's bellies, and we share freely food and arts and agates and dyes and stories by the fire. And you ask me, 
Do you remember when you believed this land could be owned and not shared? And I remember, but those memories fade with the love that fills our lives today. Thanks for coming, y'all. See you next time.